so happy to see you. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my playlist Debunking Myths About Russia. My name is Yasa and nine years ago I moved to the United States from St. Petersburg, Russia, where I grew up all by myself. I grew up all by myself, but I moved... <laughs> Hi everyone! I'm so happy to see you. Welcome back to my channel and uh, welcome to my new playlist Debunking Myths About Russia. My name is Yasa and um, I feel like I'm in unique position to maybe judge a little bit, <laughs> in unique position to learn uh, something from both countries. I grew up in Russia, St. Petersburg, and I moved to United States nine years ago to Florida. I moved all by myself and um, I learned a lot just being kind of a spectator being um, an observer and witnessing two countries in front of my eyes and two ways of living, two ways of understanding the world. And uh, here I wanted to share with you my understanding of both of the cultures. And um, today I wanted to maybe try a little bit of a controversial topic. Um, I, I read in the news that or I hear that Russia still associates with communism. Is it true or not? So from my understanding, it's only my personal understanding, but I did grow up there. So from what I know, we have a communist party, but it is in no way a communist party that used to be in Soviet Union. This party holds only 10% or less in Duma, in the main governmental office, in parliament, let's call it parliament, we call it Duma. And uh, Russia could not be further from communism right now. It's a very capitalistic country moving that direction and um, in no way we have equality <laughs> in Russia. And uh, we have a wide gap between rich population and uh, population living very poorly. So in no way Russia can be called communist country at the moment. And um, they tried, you know, they tried in Soviet Union to implement that, to implement the ideas of equality and uh, brotherhood and just complete ab absence of money and just um, distributing goods on the basis of need um, and on the basis of work which is sounds good but in the reality it was a utopia and there is um, no way to implement it in the reality because there is always someone who does work better, always someone who needs more, and um, there is always someone who will take more if he can. And um, someone who needs help, you know, what about the poor, or the, for example, uh, health challenge people who can't work as much and they need help. So, of course, we have to consider different cases and different circumstances. So equality just um, in a way of means and needs doesn't exist. We don't have the same needs, all of us. We have different needs. We all different people and different. we have different abilities and different uh, needs. So Russia is a very capitalistic country as I mentioned right now and um, business is growing and uh, you know America has a huge influence on the way Russia thinks and moves in terms of politics and uh, I think the way we went with capitalism after collapse of Soviet Union hugely influenced by America and America's success in that so again Communists had a beautiful idea and as scary as this word sound to so many people, as I understand it, it was a beautiful 
idea of communal. So um, I don't know how beautiful that idea is, but uh, it it has merits. People who want to live in communa, who wants to share everything, and who wants to have equality and equal rights and equal needs and equal um, possessions, right? So they would share everything. And people wanted to try that, and they did, and it didn't work because we're all different and we all have different things we need and desire and um, different things that would be good for us. So now they're trying a different way. Let's see, let's see how that goes. <laughs> so concluding my video, in no way I consider Russia as a communist country. Um, right now to me it sounds like an anachronism and something from the past and uh, it never was a part of my life. I'm 31 years old and it never was a part of my present. It was always a part of my past, of the past of my country. Anyway, thank you for watching, thank you for listening into my thoughts and I hope uh, they resemble truth in some way at least and uh, maybe it gives you some interesting insight into two countries that I observe very closely. If you can, please like it and please subscribe and I will see you very soon, okay? Bye! Пока!